Okay, so I've had on my list to make a tutorial on fitting videos or images into computer screens, TVs, phones, tablets, whatever you want. Um, and so what I did is I just made you three additional cave scenes just for the purposes of showing you how to do this. So I just quickly made them and they are square and they have just some junk on them. <laughs> so I will show you how to do this. The TV and the movie theater are pretty self-explanatory. So once I show you how to do the TV, I mean, sorry, the computer, it will show you um, how to do that as well. These are front facing without a lot of adjustment. This one has to go to an angle. So let me show you how to do that one. So you can grab these scenes in the description of this tutorial. I am just going to blow this up for the moment so that we can work a little bit easier with the images, but we can just scale it all back down and I will show you how I hope I don't forget at the end. If you were in my class right now, I would be saying, don't forget to remind me, but that's not going to work when I won't be there for you to remind. But what I did is I went into scenes and I figured the uh, the um, the clay went well. So let me just go in there so you can see where I got it in the scenes. The clay are the first one, so you click on that. And for that computer one, I just took the work one because I had it done. I had it downloaded already and it seemed to fit. The theme. I am going to just click and drag to make it smaller. I'm doing it that way, or you can go up here into properties and right next to scale, just scale it down, whatever you want to do. The other thing that I did do is I am going to click on computer programs and I'm going to either open the group here or I can open it up here or I can even just double click. Right now, just for our purposes, I'm going to take out the text because if you want to put text in, then you can do that. But right now, just to make it cleaner and we don't have a mess, we're going to do that. And once you learn how to do it, you'll be good. The other thing is, see how it's coming in? I just clipped it a little bit so that the image would be there from the start. You don't have to do that. I just decided to do that myself, just so we didn't have a blank screen at the start. All right, so now I'm gonna bring it over to where my computer is. And here is where we're going to use the distortion tool. So I'm gonna click on the distortion tool. I'm actually gonna turn that off for a minute. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit closer so we can work a little closer to see where we are now these images as much as I wanted to make you something with my new AI habit I know they're not the best of qualities I need to learn more about that so some of it's going to be a little blurry but if we click the distortion tool I'm going to click my um, space bar just to move it up I'm going to because I have this clicked here you'll see that I can click on here and just bring this down into place. Release, bring this into place. Now that looks terrible. Bring this into place and bring this into place. Now clearly I need to do some more refinements because this is all off. But I'm gonna move this up. This is where I noticed when I was doing it that it kind of is blurry so you might I went over on the black a little bit just so that let me do this just so the blue underneath wasn't seen but you can do whatever you want and on the other images that create studio makes they're not blurry like that so you'll have much better luck with those I'm gonna move this into the corner here and then 
here. I'm going to reattach that. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to hit play. I think it looks pretty good, right? I think so. Now, sometimes you have a little bit of a curved edge on a computer screen and you're not seeing that here and I can't do it. So if I click on computer programs, I don't have the little nodes that you have on shapes to be able to do that. So let me show you what we can do. Um, what was I going to do on that one? I think, oh, I did it on the TV. So let's bring the TV out a little bit more. Oh, that's the wrong part of the TV. Let's just grab the TV so I don't mess with that. This has some curved edges. So what we can do for that is I'm going to just grab a scene. I don't know. I'm just going to grab the same one so I'm not looking too much. I'm going to scale that down like I did the other one. I'm going to, now when I first did this, it also was curved up a little bit. So I'm going to have to re reformat that shape a little bit because of that, because we don't have the ability to skew it in the top and the bottom as well. You'd have to do a couple different things to do that. So what I did is I grabbed a shape. move the computer problem away for a moment. I'm going to bring this down, kind of size it. And then what you can do is grab these nodes and you can bring it down a little bit so it's curved. And then I'm just going to resize it a little bit. Now, it's not exactly the same shape as underneath, but I'm doing that purposefully because of the concave circle there, and that would be hard. So I think this is still going to look okay, right? I think that will look all right. I'm going to bring my computer problem scene back in. And I might have to make it a little bit bigger so it fits in that rectangle. So I might move it this way. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to mask by selecting my rectangle and my computer problem scene. Select both of them, right click, mask it. And now let's see. Oh, and I didn't delete the text so you can see that it's still there and you can just open the group. It seemed to work this time and you can just change the text to whatever you want it to be. And let's see how that looks. I guess I changed the second text. So that's how you can very quickly Add in images or videos to your computer screens. And of course, I also made a movie theater, if you want. <laughs> there you go. So I hope that helped. And I hope these two, these three new scenes um, may be fun for you just to add. And thanks again for all your support. Keep creating. Okay, I forgot and you didn't remind me. So I just came back and I'm going to add this to the end. I told you that I would show you how to get this back into proportion. The easiest way to do is just click and drag to select both of them or you can click and drag on here and you can just change the size and you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller and they will stay in proportion and then you can fit it to where you want it to be. Okay, if you did, so I'm gonna Command Z to undo what I just did. If you tried to move them even with the scale here separately, 
one at a time. That's going to be a mess. You're not going to be able to get that. It would have been useless to try to make it a larger scene to be able to work with the details if you wanted to do that. So all you have to do, I'm just command Z and to get back, I'm just going to select both and then I can resize. The other thing you can do, if you have, here I only have two, so it's not so hard, but if you have more, so for instance, right here in my first scene, look at all of those, that's gonna be hard, I'll miss something if I try to select them. You can group them. You can click and drag to select both of them, right click and group. Then if you choose this scale, it will move them at the same time and the same ratio for the sizing. All right, there you go. Now you can go create.